Hello guys, let's talk now about the third chapter in our course, in our SS7 course, Signaling Introduction. Okay, so first of all, we need to know what is meant by signaling. Signaling means transfer of information and instructions relevant to control and monitoring telephony connections. What does this mean? This means signaling is the main handler of voice calls. Before making a voice call between an A number and B number, there must be a signaling between the two users. This signaling messages passes between network nodes. In order to make a call from one user to another user, there is a signaling message flow between network nodes passing from A number to B number. This is what we call instructions to control and monitoring telephony connections. Okay, we have another definition here, which is the term signaling, when used in telephony, refers to the exchange of control information associated with the setup and release of a telephone call on a telecommunication circuit. Let's give an example of a signaling here. Let's assume that A number is going to talk and call B number. Okay, what should A number do before making a live connection between him and B number? A number must first know the location of the B number, where it exists in the network. This is the first thing. A number must authenticate to the network first before making any call to make sure that this A number is eligible and authorized to access the network normally. Third thing, A number must make location update to make the network able to route him to the B number. This is what we call about signaling. Another thing, a number must send the MZ of the B number that he is trying to call to the network nodes to the HLR in particular to enable the HLR find the location of the B number to read the, to read the call to it. This is what we call signaling. Okay. We have another definition here for the signaling system. Signaling is a set of telephony signaling protocols which are used to set up network telephone calls. Example of signaling systems as a seven that we are going to talk about today in our course and high speed link HSL and SecTran. SecTran is a 7 over IP. Okay. But one minute. Here we say a set of telephony signaling protocols. What does signaling protocols mean? Each node in the network deals with a signaling protocol, a specific signaling protocol. Some nodes deals with MAP protocol, some nodes deal with another protocol called ISAP, some nodes deal with another protocol called PSS MAP. These protocols are used to instruct the signaling messages flow which goes first and which goes second and in which event it must send a signaling message X or Y or Z. This is what we mean by signaling protocols. Okay.